From that great hymn, Amazing Grace, we hear again the words, I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. When new things happen in our lives, disorienting things, hard things, sometimes it raises to light things we have not been able to see before. Maybe that's what's happening in this time too. And so this week I've asked Harvey Dixon, longtime church member Harvey Dixon, to tell you about something he is able to see now and perhaps couldn't before. Welcome Harvey for But Now I See. I am sure each of us has had more time to think about all aspects of our lives as we have been in this shelter in place for so long. One of the things that I've thought about more deeply is my relationship to God and how that relationship has been strengthened throughout my long life. I thank God often for granting me length of days with good health for more than 90 years. As I think back over these different periods of my long life, when I faced my most serious problems, either physical or mental, I found that stories in the Bible have helped me strengthen my personal relationship to God. This period of pandemic caused by a tiny virus that can kill us is one of those very difficult times. So far, it's not affected me physically, but it has caused me much grief and anguish as I too mourn the suffering of others. Perhaps the most poignant story in the Bible about the suffering of humans is in the book of Job. Most of this book focuses on all the multiple ways in which Job suffers. Both Job and his three friends question, where's God? In several places in the New Testament, Jesus answers Job's questions and problems perfectly. Now, I believe humanity in general has the possibility of emerging from this pandemic with a greater tendency to follow Jesus' teaching of love your neighbors yourself. I believe this is possible not only for those of the faith, other faith traditions, most of whom have similar traditions about the importance of helping others. As I observe and listen to the constant bombardment of stories and images in the news media about the current pandemic, I see not only human loss and grief, but also many examples of people risking their own lives to help others. There's also a greater tendency, as seen in polling data, to act together as a community. Since similar stories and images are probably shared across the entire world, it is my hope that humanity can emerge from this period of grief and despair with a greater commitment to helping others, not only to help individuals, but whole communities, ethnic groups, countries, indeed all of humanity. My prayer to God is that this will actually happen. Amen.